You know those websites that prevent you pasting into the input fields? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to bypass that. Now, I, I was on Twitter and I saw this tweet um, from Dev Community from a blog post from Claire Parker Penn showing how to prevent pasting into input fields. Claire is a JavaScript developer and she's just documenting how people prevent uh, users from pasting into input fields. And what I really liked about this, it's nice, simple, and you can see this answer on Stack Overflow. Claire's just documenting um, the way that people work. She's got flack about um, doing this because it's really bad user experience, and we know that, which is why, as testers or just technical users, we want to bypass this. So one of the cool things Claire did is she created a code pen, which I forked here, CodePen is really good. If you want to experiment with HTML or CSS or JavaScript, you can go into CodePen, knock up the various fields here, and you've got a page that you can experiment with. So this is also a really good demonstration of just simple stuff that you can add in a CodePen to experiment and improve your testing. So we've got, I'll, I'll add the links into the, the thing here. So I'm going to take this text, I'm going to try and paste it in this field, which we can't do, paste it in this field, which we can't do. So I cannot paste into those fields because we've got JavaScript. Now, as a user, the easiest way to bypass this, if I do an inspect, I get the dev tools up, I go off to event listeners, I find the paste event, click on that. Oh look, there's a remove. I'll remove that. Then I should be able to now just paste in there, right? So that's the easiest thing to do. Now, if we were working on a project, we could do that every time we come into the uh, form, but that would be a bit of a pain, right? But in the real world, if I'm a user, that's what I'm going to do, which is why this is a really bad pattern to rely on if it's uh, if fixing a defect. Say you've got a um, framework and it doesn't work very well when someone pastes something into the field. So what you're going to do is you're going to prevent people in the pasting into the field so that, that your application now works. I can remove that, I can paste into there, then your framework doesn't work properly and maybe that impacts the error handling. You shouldn't rely on it. The One of the lessons from this whole thing is anything that is in our web GUIs is ours to control and manipulate and we should not rely on it from a system point of view. So any validation we want, you can do it on the front end, that's fine, but you also need to do it on the back end to actually protect your server. And if you're, you really have to be conscious about why you're doing certain things on the front end. But sometimes we're on projects and people make decisions about what the front end should be and we disagree with those. And sometimes as testers, we just find ways of working around. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with code. So if I refresh the page here, now one of the interesting things about CodePen is that we've got the code at the top, then it creates a frame here. So I have to wait for everything to load into the frame before I can actually start manipulating it. So I'm going to go and inspect here and I can see that the ID is paste hyphen no. If I go in the console, and it'll probably show me code completion ones I've done before. If I just do document dot, I can get elements by IDs. So I know the ID paste the ID in. If I hit return there, I'll get that element back. So what I can do is I can just say, all right, I want to actually override the code that you have in there already. And I'm just going to set that to um, curly brackets. Now I should be able to paste in here, right? Because we've overwritten that code. Now there's a whole bunch of things that you can do to override that um, pasting. So now that that's loaded in, let me inspect this console, I'll get that command back and I'll just set it to null. Now I can paste in. Should be. Oops, let me get something I can actually paste. Control C. There we go. So now I can paste in there. Let me refresh this. What else could we do? We could set it to a new function. Paste null. So new uh, function. Oops, on paste. Now, the reason I've got that is because it's in the frame and I haven't actually set this console to that frame. Now I should hopefully be able to do that. There we go. So that's one of the issues with this being in a frame. And because it's in a frame, one of the tactics that I would normally use, if I was doing this all the time, and this is a website I'm working on, 
and I had to write code in order to bypass something. I would typically put that in a bookmarklet, have that up here so that every time I came into the um, page, I can just hit the bookmarklet, it will set up the way I want, and then I can paste in. Now, so that's a quick run through of the basic um, ways around this. But the main point is, this is a really bad pattern. So if you're if you got this on your website, I would probably take it off. But as a tester, you don't have to put up with this nonsense. As a user, you don't have to put up with this nonsense. The simplest thing we can do, if we start to learn the basics of the dev tools, we can come in, find the field, there's the paste event, remove it. If there's pop-up divs that you don't like, inspect them. Find the div, just delete it from the DOM, right? You don't have to put up with any nonsense on the front end. And it's the people making systems job to make sure their back end is robust in the face of all your manipulation, which is why as testers, the more that we learn about the technology, the more that we learn how to use these tools, the more that we are going to open up the approaches that we have for testing and the more that we are going to explore that system thoroughly. So if you're interested in those kind of things, make sure you check out eviltester.com, which is my main blog. And I have a technical web testing 101 course, which covers some of these basics. And you can find that at eviltester.com slash tech web test 101. And subscribe to the channel if they find this video interesting. Thanks very much.